Hi there, my name is Lori, and today is day 15. Our prayer today will be inspired by Genesis 12, verses 1 to 3. The Lord had said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Abram was an old man at this point when God called him. God's call was a big and difficult one. He was called to leave his country, his people, his father's household, and go into an unknown place with only his wife and his nephew. It was a big call, a tough call, one that would require a lot of faith. But the blessing God promised was also a big one. God promised to make Abram into a great nation, to bless him, to make his name great, and to bless the whole world through him. Abram didn't even have a child at this point, and he was 75. How could the Lord follow through on these promises? Could Abram experience the blessings that God promised? By faith, Abram did follow God's call, and God did provide a son and a nation to him, and God blessed him, and then blessed all nations through him. We are evidence of the blessing God provided to Abram. Abram trusted in God, and his faith is our heritage. Abram's household grew in faith as they experienced God's faithfulness. We would do well to learn from Abram's family and grow in our faith as they did. Let's commit to praying that our households experience God's faithfulness and in turn grow in new life and faith in Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for Abram. Thank you for giving him these promises and for showing your faithfulness to him. Thank you for his, exa his example of faith and for the heritage that he passed to his household and to all nations. God, may we experience your faithfulness in our families, and may that f inspire faith in our lives and lead us to experience new life in you. Amen. May God bless you as you now continue in your own time of prayer, praising, repenting, asking, and yielding to God.